Hi and welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we will be solving some very important questions on marginal utility and their functions. You can WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any information, question or for full videos on our courses. Let's see our first question of the day. A consumer has the utility function given as follows. For goods X and Y and is given by uxy equals to x 0.4 y to the power 0.6 now what is the consumer's marginal utility of x and y let us first solve this question the marginal utility of x or mux equals del ux comma y by del x that is we are partially differentiating this so this comes to 0.4 x into minus 0.6 y to power 0 0.6 similarly for marginal utility of y we have del u x comma y by del y which is equals to 0 0.6 x to power 0 0.4 y to power minus 0 0.4 now let us see the second question okay i'll clear the screen so that i can do the further questions out in the space below now suppose the price of x is 2 and price of y is 6 what is the utility maximizing proportion of x and y in its consumption now as for theory we know marginal utility of x by px equals to marginal utility of y by py that is this is the condition for equilibrium Therefore, let us put the values 0.4 x to power minus 0.6 y to power 0.6. Notice this was the thing that we had already obtained in our previous question 0.6 x to power 0.4 y to power minus 0.4 whole divided by 6. Therefore, 0.2 y equals to 0.1 x x equals to 2 y and this is our answer for question number two now if the total amount of money he is willing to spend on two goods is equal to 60 how much of each will he consume now let okay I'll clear the screen again now the consumers budget constant is 60 equals to 2x plus 6y now substituting in this in the consumption for x in terms of y we get 60 equals to 10y or y is equals to 6 and x is equals to 12. This we have obtained as in our question number 2 we have obtained the relation x equals to 2y. Now the fourth part is using an appropriate utility function as an example we need to show that the maximum expected yield is not as same as maximum expected utility and we need to state our assumptions also now for this we'll assume that suppose the total wealth is 100 and the initial wealth is also 100 there's 45 percent chance of losing 50 and 55 percent chance of gaining 50 in a gamble now let the utility function be u w is equals to root w suppose x or the individual mentioned here takes the gamble then expected utility of wealth that is expectation of wealth equals to 55 percent into 150 plus 45 percent into 50 which is equals to 102.5 this is because when he wins he has 150 wealth when he loses he has only 50 wealth left with him now however the expected utility of x is expected utility of wealth which is equals to 55 percent root over 150 as we put it into the wealth function that we have already obtained for 45 percent into root 50 which is equal to 9.92 initial expected utility of x equals to 10 if x were to maximize expected wealth he should take the gamble 
and but if he were to maximize this expected utility he should not take the gamble with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click on the notification icon you can contact us at the number given on the screen for any doubts of our full videos on our courses